She was full of joy, full of life. Tammy Kirk's living room is filled with pictures, including ones of her daughter, Latiffany Rogers. She was finally beginning to get her life together. Call it mother's intuition, Tammy asked police for a welfare check on her daughter Sunday. That's when detectives found the 26-year-old dead in her apartment from homicidal violence. I mean, I screamed for two hours. But Tammy didn't have a lot of time to process that devastating news. Did y'all see my grandson? I said, oh my God, it's Johnny, it's Johnny. Police quickly turning their attention to the missing boy's father, Johnny Palmore. Tammy says she gave detectives information that Palmore and the boys might be at an apartment on Abrams Road. SWAT was called in Monday. Palmore was inside. He shot himself and later died. But the boys, they were found safe. And they had been taken to the Child Advocacy Center. And officials here at the Child Advocacy Center tell me that on average, they get 10 new forensic interviews here every single day. Sometimes just that first utterance of what they need to say is the hardest. Carrie Pascal says she's interviewed over 5,000 children in a room that looks just like this. The demeanor varies. I've had kids recovered from an abduction scene where someone was arrested that laughed and I've had kids be the opposite end of the continuum, highly emotional. And there are people watching this interview too, right? There are. We have our investigative partner sit in this room, our law enforcement detective that's assigned to the, to the investigation, and so will our CPS partners if they're also assigned. Speaking of CPS, Tammy says they are coming by the house tomorrow, and hopefully she'll be able to bring her seven and one-year-old grandsons home. I know it's going to be a long, hard process, especially for the older one. In Dallas. Just take it day by day. I'm Ariel Placencia.